loving how Christmassy this is. However, may I say, the most dangerous lights in the world, they blink when they want to and then they'll stay on when they want to. No box that tells it to do that. On the lights that you get where you can set it to like twinkle, 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 then flash and then stay still. So we don't know if this is some sort of like wave surge of electricity that will eventually kill us. Merry Christmas. If any of you have ever seen any of my packing videos before, then you know I carry around this little bad boy with me and I shove it <laughs> and I fill it with all of the little essentials and seriously, ever since I started doing this technique and keeping it with me at all times, it has changed everything. I, I'm never without. I always have my essentials and I thought, if you know someone that's going away and like a little stocking filler or a little thoughtful gift, see, no, that doesn't inexpensive little thoughtful practical stocking filler or gift. Now this can cost as much as you want it to cost. You can jazz it up or jazz it down, have it really basic. I'm going to show you like the basic stuff and like one thing that's kind of optional in here. Let's get on to the old DIY. Throw things in a bag and give it to someone and say I put time and effort into this. So you're going to want to get yourself a little wash bag and um, this is mine. It's quite bobbly now but I got it from the markets here in Thailand last time we were here and it's kind of just a, a normal size, got a nice little bit of depth. Um, again, you could buy something really fancy or really cheap. It just depends on your budget and what the other person would like. So what do we have inside? Are you alright? Do you need to lie down? First things first is an eye mask. This is a traveler's best friend on long flights, long train journeys, and long bus journeys just to block everything out. They're really inexpensive and seriously well needed. If your friend's going to travel like anyone, and this is kind of something I'd carry around with me on a daily basis anyway, but a little travel pack of antibacterial wipes, you know, you can choose your lovely uh, friends that you put on them. Trust me, these will come in handy, especially if you're going to be eating street food or going to places where you're touching things or getting dirty. If you're going Going on a hike. Seriously, they are so good to have. Also, let's go a little drier. We also have a little pack of tissues. Now, these days, focus. Tissues aren't as boring. You can get some really pretty little packaging, and yeah, you know, it's just tissues at the end of the day, but you can make them look pretty. Travelers will be either wearing brand new walking boots or old walking boots they walk way too much in, and blisters. At the end of the day, blisters, or they'll fall over on a trek, or something will happen. So, plasters. Seriously, this all seems really basic, but as a little comfort kit and a little essentials kit, so needed. So yeah, it doesn't have to be like a massive box of plasters, just a little sachet. You can only get these, we got this from 7-Eleven, a little convenience store. They didn't cost like barely anything. And there's like 10 plasters in here, and you can just keep them on the go. Also, with hygiene and everything, I didn't buy a fresh one, but you'll get the idea, is hand sanitizer. I have a really nice lemongrass one, but seriously, especially for the toilet time, if you're going to like a squatty toilet or whatever, um, it's just really important that you start carrying this because it's so easy to pick up bugs and germs. Now, I'm not a germ phobe, however, some of the toilets you may have to go to, the hygiene is not great in a lot of countries, so hand sanitizer. Plus, I'm a sucker for like stray cats and dogs, and I do fuss them, so you will definitely need this. Also, mosquitoes are horrible. They're absolutely vile little creatures. You know this, you know my relationship with mosquitoes. So the one thing I will point out about this before we go into bugs, keep everything hand luggage size when it comes to liquids, which is up to like 300 ml bottles, something like that. So don't go overboard on the liquids. However, if you can come across some little sachets of bug spray, recommend to your friend that they need to take like a full size bottle of bug spray, especially if they come to somewhere like Southeast Asia. However, it's always a forgettable item. Even though it's so important, we forget it on the daily. They just have one of these so they can just keep it in their bag with them at all times, just in case. If your friend has long hair, then a few little hair ties will always come in handy. Also, I should have put this with the eye mask, but get them some earplugs. When it comes to medication, I'm not gonna recommend that you give any friend medication. Um, however, I'm just gonna say this is what I keep in mind along with the big part of medication over there, 
it's just gets something simple like I've got some Panadol which is just like paracetamol like one strip throw in there if you ever get a headache and you've got no other tablets or you've fallen over or something's happened you need a little pain relief you know they're cheap and easy and they're always good to carry on you also these which are anti-diarrhea tablets so you can get something like Imodium but traveler's best friend you I know you, what you're thinking I can't give my friend anti-diarrhea tablets for Christmas you can, because in six months time, they're going to be sending you a message over Facebook from somewhere like Thailand or Cambodia or somewhere, India, sat on to it saying, oh, thank you. Also, I have a pen in here. You can throw in like a little notebook as well. That would be a great idea. Just so they can jot down some ideas, um, the name of their hostel, flight details, anything like that. Always good to have a pen. The last thing I will throw in is my Lily Cup. Um, if you've seen the periods and travel video, then I did like a review of the Lily Cup, and Intimina are still giving the free shipping on them. So I'll leave the link and the code that you need if you are interested in getting a cup for yourself or for a girlfriend. Especially if you have a girlfriend who you're really close with, then this is like a it is a great gift. And people can sit there and say that's weird. It's not weird. That's an amazing gift. It's a very thoughtful gift to give a female traveler. So I'll link the video if you want to see more about this. Literally changed everything about my period and like everything, everything. And I'll also leave the link if you want to get one yourself and get free shipping down below. All right, so that's it. Like I said, you could put way more stuff in here. You could go ahead and give them a nail file, a little USB hard drive, screwdriver. You could go crazy on this or you can keep it really simple. It's completely up to you and your budget. But that's it. That's a little DIY comfort pack if you want to make one for yourself or if you want to give it to someone for this Christmas season, a birthday, just because it's a Friday and you're a nice person. I don't know. I thought it would be a good idea to share this with you. This is everything I keep on me at all times and it's a lifesaver. All right, if you enjoyed this video, then give it a big how ba do do ba. Don't forget to subscribe, keep up to date with the fun and the weird times, and I will see you in a couple of days. Merry Christmas, everybody. If you're not watching this at Christmas, then happy Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, Sunday. All right, let's see you later. Bye-bye.